I'm Corbett Wall with DB Auction here with your feeder flash for Monday March the 4th more weather I tell you what I don't know if uh, spring's ever gonna get here but uh, the guys in the, in the Midwest have just had the most miserable wet uh, winter and weather that uh, in recent memory and it's just an old-time nasty miserable depressing winter and we've got uh, a number of delays again this week uh, had, a, had a string of storms, ice, snow, and, and all the bad weather and everything that went through some of where our, our higher volume Monday sales are. Joplin only expecting a thousand head of cattle. Oklahoma National Stockyards is not expecting a big run. Just terrible weather once again and it continues to hold things up. We got a lot more cattle to market uh, yet this spring and a lot of them have just been held up because the conditions have been so bad guys could not get them to market and even though they wanted to get rid of them because it's about all they can do to take care of them a lot of guys are trying to start calving now too and it is just terrible but uh, you look at the board for last week and in the week April live cattle futures ended the week at 129.55 up 67 cents for the week June ended at 120.42, so you see where we're kind of dropping off there. We're expecting that cash of live cattle, fat cattle market to peak out sometime in March or early April. Uh, March feeder cattle contract 141.22 at the end of the week, down 168. April 145.05, down a quarter for the week. Your fat cattle trade, uh, your, your Packers outsmarted everybody once again. It looked like the week that we're really going to gain a lot of ground in, in your cash market. We did gain some. I mean, anybody knew that. But it was looking like the week, you know, we'd, we'd had two failures out of the last three weeks' trades. And uh, it looked like this was the week everybody was going to stick together. We were going to get this thing into the 130s. Uh, your Packers were short bought. Everybody was ready to go. Uh, then Friday late morning you start seeing some people you know and they've got so many ploys they've got so many moves to make these Packers do to get things going the way they want and this time they used it buying cattle uh, out front buying cattle two to four weeks out buying cattle into April doing things like that guys you know those those prices sounded pretty good to the guys there uh, and it uh, instead of getting the 130 for this week's trade, ended up selling quite a few cattle with time on them for, uh, at 1.30. Well, it just pulled the, mark, the rug out of the guys that were trying to sell spot cash cattle for this past week. And, uh, and you know, why, why would they think they could get 1.30 when a guy sold me some cattle for 1.30 that I can pick up at the end of March whenever everybody thought this thing would be 1.35 or better. And so, Basically, not only did they lose uh, the, the market they were supposed to get this week, they also uh, blew out the potential of the market down the line. But the guys, the negotiate, the guys that are left, the cash uh, cattle sellers, the guys that feed cattle, that, uh, that uh, sell cattle negotiated, the ones that are left that still sell are the most independent, hardest headed guys, the most old school guys there is. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to question them. A lot of them own, have owned more cattle than I've seen, and I sat in a sale barn every day for 20 years. So who am I to argue with them? But it, it, when you just can't get together, uh, you know, so much for the uncle cry, you know, it just doesn't work. But last week's trade, 128, that was two bucks higher than that meager 126 spotty trade we had the week before. And 205 uh, dressed up north. And that's three dollars higher, and, and that could be pretty good if you got some cattle as with a good dressing percentage. Box beef cutout values, uh, average trade for the week last week on choice cuts two nineteen ninety eight up two twenty six for the week. Uh, select cuts average trade for the week two fourteen sixty three up two twenty seven compared to the average of the previous week. Uh, look at your slaughter six hundred and three thousand head. For the week last week, which was twenty-five thousand better than the the same week uh, bef the week before, because we had a lot of those shutdowns that we talked about, and we've got those over now. Got, the Packers are really ready to lay the hammer down now and uh, turn the dials up on those factories they have there, because they need to get as much product product pumped out as they can. They've got a lot of orders to fill. They need to keep plenty on hand for the spot. Uh, market there and uh, 
because uh, this is the best demand they'll have all year will be over the next six, eight weeks. But uh, last week, 603,000 uh, was uh, 8,000 less than the same week a year ago. Look at your uh, feeder cattle market, your real-time index on cattle market central ended the week at 139.24, uh, down a buck 75 for the week. Uh, you wonder how good uh, that RTI is doing at the, being a precursor for the CME cash feeder cattle index. That 139.24 compares to the latest CME index at 139.23. Pretty tight. Cash feeders in your sale barns last week, $1 to $3 lower. A lot of it due to weather. Uh, it, the weather has just been horrible on the market uh, all winter here, and, and we don't see an end to it yet. But uh, some places were sharply lower due to the conditions. Some, some buyers just had to completely pull out. So you had spots in different locations on different weights and classes that were sharply lower and it took a minute for uh, other guys to kind of fill in there. But uh, they should be bounced back once we, this weather straightens out. And when the weather does straighten out, we've got a lot of recovery to do on our feeder cattle and stocker cattle markets. But your calves were very uneven. Uh, also due to the weather, you know, late in the week, especially we had spots that were sharply higher. Uh, I want to tell you about some of them here in a minute. But uh, other places due to the weather, guys just couldn't stand any more calves. And, and then in a lot of places, especially in the Southern Plains, there were just not enough calves on offer to establish a market because uh, we just were running out of these lighter weight calves and stalker cattle. But in the Southeast, where a lot of your Westerners go, to find lightweight cattle, uh, those on order cattle to come west, two to five bucks higher fully last week, spots up to ten dollars higher. So uh, we're, we're getting ready for grass fever, it's coming on. Some of your sales late last week, Erickson, Nebraska, not your typical Saturday sale, but uh, top quality cattle there. I had Olson cattle there, big long string of cattle, and, and I want to tell you about them. These cattle are all black. Uh, they, they were all hay fed, they weren't uh, overly creeped or anything like that. They had, uh, had all their shots and everything that they needed, but good quality and good condition there. Look at the strings of them. 443 head of steers, light steers weighed 511 at 206, 390 head weighed 587, 20475, much higher. And on your heifers, 352 head of 471 pound heifers bring 187.50 and then the bigger ones weighed two old, there was 201 of them weighed 546 and 181 and a quarter talking about those southeastern calves your average on five weight steer calves in the southeast uh, five to six hundred pounders your average on those were 154.79 for last week nearly four and a half dollars higher than the previous week but almost $15 cheaper than the same week a year ago because we, our weather was so much better than if you remember. But how about some Mexican lightweight steers to come north? Santa Teresa livestock auction down on the border, Mexican cattle coming north. 69 head weighed 536 pounds at 164. Burwell, Nebraska, another premium top quality sale there near the sand hills. 66 head. 774 pounds at 149 and Bloomington, Wisconsin, 73 head of steers weighed 805 on Friday, $146. That's your feeder flash for Monday.